Hey guys, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a short tutorial series on how to use MongoDB with PHP. Now, the folks at MongoDB decided to change the MongoDB driver for PHP. So I decided to make a separate tutorial series just to let you guys know how to use the updated MongoDB driver with PHP. Now, I highly recommend you go through the MongoDB series for beginners in my channel before watching this series. Okay, so before we get started, we have some initial setup that has to be done. Now, the first thing obviously is you need to have downloaded and installed MongoDB. Now, I have the version 3.2 for the 32 bit version because my computer is 32 bit. And the second thing is you need to have XAMPP installed so that we can work with PHP. And third thing, or uh, Next, what we have to do is install the PHP driver that uh, MongoDB provides. So in Google, type MongoDB drivers. Now open the first link and over here, if you scroll down to the bottom, it says drivers and if you scroll down more, you have PHP. Now next to PHP, you have the releases. Now click on releases and this is going to provide you a list of DLLs. Now we are going to be making use of the latest version 1.1.7. So click on the Windows DLL downloads and this is going to redirect you to another page. Now we have the DLL list over here but to know what DLL to choose, open, um, let me start PHP Apache. Let me go to localhost slash 8080. Okay, now over here I have 5.6 version. So let's go back to okay, here we are. So we are going to be making use of five points. Okay, sorry. <laughs> We're going to be making use of PHP 5.6. Now within 5.6, we have several options. Now x86 for 32 or x64 for 64 bit. Now I have a 32 bit, so it is down to the first two links. Now the first one is non-thread safe and the second one is a thread safe. Now if you go to your XAM folder and then go inside PHP, now you can have a look at, so php5ts.dll. That means to say it's thread safe. So over here, we are going to install 5.6 thread safe for the 32 bit machine. So if you have a 64 bit machine, go for the 64 bit one. So I have already downloaded it or the zip file. I already have it downloaded it. So I already have it downloaded. So let me extract over here. Okay, this is going to provide me with the php underscore mongodb.dll. So to associate this DLL with our PHP in XAMPP, copy this, go to C drive, XAMPP, or wherever XAMPP is installed for you, go to PHP, go to ext folder, and paste it over here. So you have the php mongodb DLL along with the rest of the DLLs. Now let's go back over here we need to scroll all the way down to the PHP INI file. So this will usually be about the php.ini development. So edit with notepad plus plus and do a find on Windows EXT or Windows extension. So this is going to give us the list of extensions over here, right below, let's go with MySQL. Since it is in alphabetical order, what you have to do is copy this file name. So copy this and over here in Notepad++, write above MySQL extension, type extension is equal to the php mongodb.dll. Now save this and we'll have to also restart our Apache server. Okay. So that's pretty much it how to install the driver that is going to get us started but here's the thing the driver is going to provide the bare minimum 
to work with PHP. So the recommended way is to use the PHP library that comes along with the MongoDB driver that provides a more full featured API that we can use. So to install the PH or to download and install the PHP library, we make use of Composer. Now Composer is something similar to Node Package Manager or NPM. So for PHP, it is Composer. So and by the way, I'm going to be dropping down the links for each of these sites in the description below. So go to getcomposer.org, click on download and click on download and run composer setup.exe. Now I've already done this, so I already have composer installed in my computer. So let's go to C drive, XAMPP, HDDocs. Let's create a new folder or a project that we are going to be working with. Let's call this PHP MongoDB. Now let's open command prompt over here. So right click holding down shift, open command window over here. And we are going to be making use of the composer to download and install the PHP library. So any library that you want to associate with your PHP project, composer is going to help you with that. Now, um, I have this particular line over here or the command that needs to be executed. I'm going to be pasting this in the description as well. So copy this and paste it. And this is going to take a couple of seconds, but it is going to create all the documents that is required uh, so that we can work with PHP and MongoDB. So, the PHP library is a dependency for our project, so Composer is going to download it and install it. Okay, so we are done. So that's pretty much it, all the initial setup that we need um, to get started. Just to recollect, download install MongoDB. Second step, download and install XAMPP. Third step, download and install the appropriate MongoDB driver for PHP and fourth step download Composer so that we can install the PHP library. Fifth step create a folder that we want to work in and download uh, the PHP library for MongoDB using the Composer. So in the next video let us see how to get started with by working on some of the operations on MongoDB. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.